Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So you may be noticing something in the background here. This is my Lisa Eldridge lipstick haul of her summer 2022 lipsticks. I had the opportunity to visit her pop-up store on the first day that it opened in Covent Garden in London with my mum. We picked up some amazing things there. I got an opportunity to meet Lisa and my mum to meet Lisa for the first time. I met Lisa when she launched her first pop-up in Covent Garden and so it was a great day. I got to see how beautiful the store was inside. This is my Lisa Eldridge haul and I'm going to show you all the pieces that I picked up. Now Lisa launched 10 new colours and they were across two different formulas. One was the formula which was the insanely saturated lip colour and I've done reviews previously on Lisa's lipsticks and reviewed her previous colours that she launched but these are three new ones within this range. New Wave, Strawberry Shock and Sunday Matinee. She then also released seven new colours of Lisa's luxuriously lucid lip colours. I picked up six and these were Le Mepri, Je Ne Sais Quoi, Wonder Wheel, Rosy Shell, Palazzo and Night Thoughts. She also released another colour called Meet Me in Berlin and I didn't pick up that colour and I was really kind of questioning it when I was in store and the reason I didn't pick it up was the colour is almost identical to my lips. It doesn't do anything for me. I decided to not get that but to get her highlighter instead which I didn't have the opportunity to pick up when it launched recently which was the Elevated Glow and this is in the colour Pink Moon. I have Lisa's foundation on in 22. I'm going to put Pink Moon on so that you can see it whilst we do all the lip shades. It's very very beautiful so let's put that on first. So this is Pink Moon and why I wanted to kind of try this in store was because I was a little bit hesitant because my skin is quite tanned and I was worried that this was going to look I suppose a little bit ashy on my skin. The makeup artist that was there said that this would just look really lovely as a sort of light highlighter at the points where I really need it. So I thought we could just put that on before we put the lipsticks on right now. So as with Lisa's highlighters, you have the doe foot, which is nice and big and large. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that and I'm gonna put it on the high points of my cheek just to give some highlight. And what I love about Lisa's highlighters is it really gives a natural finish. It doesn't look like I've got a lot of highlight on. It looks like the light is just naturally hitting parts of my face. When I tried this in store, I thought, you know what, it's so subtle, really kind of works that I thought I've got to get this. You can see how that colour just looks really natural as I move. And then what I would do is just take a tad there and just put a little bit on my cupid's bow. And then just a tad on my brow bone, just there and there. And you can see that it just looks so, so natural. And this one is in the colour Pink Moon. So the first colour that we're going to look at is Le Mepri, and Le Mepri is described as a sublimely nuanced but wearable, a soft beige hue that's straight out of a Jean-Luc Godard masterpiece. Think Brigitte Bardot, tussled bouffant hair and kissable lips. This formula is really pretty. It's a luxuriously lucent lip colour in a sheer to semi-sheer buildable coverage lipstick with a satin finish. So it delivers with one swipe, or you can build the colour to create a more radiantly polished look. This cruelty-free product is vegan and free from parabens, talc, fragrance, nylon 12, D65, gluten and silicones. This was the colour that sold out the fastest when Lisa launched this, and I can understand why. I think it's a colour that a lot of people can wear. Now for me, when I was in store, I felt that a lip pencil would probably do this 
more justice. We're going to put it on and then I'm going to put it on with a lip pencil and you're going to see the difference. So this is in Lisa's beautiful packaging. You've got Lisa's logo on the tip of the lipstick. You open it up and this is the colour. In person it looks like the perfect sort of nude colour. If you have lighter lips than me, see my lips are quite pigmented, I think this is going to look gorgeous without a lip pencil. Because my lips are a little bit more pigmented it's going to need a lip liner. We're going to apply it initially and then I'm going to use the lip liner afterwards to draw it in. So this is Le Mepri. So let's put on Le Mepri together now. This formula feels really, really lovely on. It's got this sort of creamy texture. So this is Lemme Pre, and this is just on its own without a lip liner. I would probably use this colour if I was doing like a smoky eye because when you do a smoky eye you want the attention to be on your eyes not on your lips. You don't want it to be overpowered by the lips so I think with a liner I think this is going to suit me a lot better. It is quite fair on my lips but I think it's something I can get away with hence the reason why I bought this because I think her lip pencils should be able to make it look better on my skin tone. So I have Lisa's lip pencil in the colour Muse so let's see how that looks. So I've just put on Muse and this is what I did in the store and I can see that the colour works so much better with a liner. So this is with the lip pencil Muse. I think adding the lip liner has made the colour look a little bit more wearable for my skin tone but also given a bit of an ombre effect. That is Muse with Le Mepri. So I've just gone off camera and I've added just a tad mascara just so that I look a little bit more alive. Um, the next colour we're going to look at is Je Ne Sais Quoi. Hard to pin down, Je Ne Sais Quoi is a warm, creamy coral. Its summery magic lies in the duality of its vibrancy and subtlety. Somehow this lively shade manages to brighten the face without being an overtly bright shade. I'm very excited to try this, so let's see how this one looks. So same packaging, this is the colour Je Ne Sais Quoi. Is that pretty? So let's try Je Ne Sais Quoi. It's a really lovely colour. It's got this sort of corally vibe, definitely the way that Lisa described it. It's very summery. It's the kind of colour I can imagine wearing now. It is a really rich consistency, but the colour is beautiful. So this is Je Ne Sais Quoi. And then I'm just going to add on the colour Dragon, which is one of Lisa's liners. I think that does work, actually. This is Dragon with Je Ne Sais Quoi. So the next colour we're going to move on to is Rosy Shell. This is Rosy Shell. So Lisa describes Rosy Shell as the delicate coastal pink hue of rose cut seashells. They're brought to lucent life in this deliciously pretty shade. A light pink with a mix of cool and warm undertones, Rosy Shell is a picnic on the beach in July without the sand in your sandwiches. I just love the way Lisa describes her lipsticks. So sort of unique and so sort of special but I can't wait to try this next shade. So this is Rosy Shell. So let's try Rosy Shell. So this is kind of like a light pink. 
it has such gorgeous undertones in. I'm gonna try this with a lip pencil because that's what we did in store and it really worked. I'm gonna use Lisa's lip pencil in blush. So I'm gonna put that on on top, but this is without the lip pencil. And this is Rosy Shell. So I've got Lisa's lip pencil and this one is in blush. So let's put that on now. So this is with the lip pencil in the color blush and I think they work really well together. Now, I don't think you necessarily need a lip liner for this one, but I just thought it would be good to try it out. And I literally, just blending the lip pencil a bit, just so the two colors doesn't look too sort of stark, just gives that nice sort of look to it. It's giving that sort of extra depth, which if you do like that sort of thing in your lipstick, then a lip pencil will be perfect for this, but I think blush works really well with this. So this is Rosy Shell with the liner. So the next colour we're going to go into is called Wonder Wheel and I wanted to try this as well with you because it's a little bit more summery, a bit like the one before and has a sort of a neon kind of undertone. So this is Wonder Wheel. Roll up, roll up for this deliciously juicy popsicle pink shade, a mouth-watering, vibrant reddish pink that alights lips with all the heady nostalgic fun of the Ferris wheel. It's a really kind of vibrant shade, really has that kind of neon look actually to it. Okay, so I'm quite excited about this one, so let's take a look. So this is Wonder Wheel. Can you see that sort of neon undertone, the vibrancy? It's really pretty. Now, when I was in the store, we actually used one of Lisa's liners for this and we decided on Carnival. So I'm gonna give Carnival a go and use that as a liner and just see the difference and see how that looks. So I have Lisa's liner here in a Carnival. So this is with the liner Carnival and I can see why when we were in store the makeup artist picked this colour out and I think it's got that sort of vibrancy that um, helps to accentuate my lips but also complements this colour really really well. So I'm just going to show you this up close. So this is with Carnival as a liner with Wonder Wheel. So the next colour we're going to go on to is Palazzo. The reason I picked this is I love reds, so this is a really lovely ready shade. But also because my mum picked this as well and I got to see what liner would go best with it. Let's look at Palazzo. Take a Roman holiday with this rich, deep, neutral red inspired by the interiors of the rich, decorous places of Italy. As regal as a Renaissance portrait, yet as exhilarating as a ride through Rome on a Vespa. Just imagine that imagery. Amazing. I love the way she describes the colour and how it matches the situation. So this is Palazzo. So here we go. Let's try Palazzo. is so pretty. I do like this colour. It's very creamy as well. I feel like this one, I've had more creamier than some of the ones I've just tried before, but it went on really beautifully. So this is Palazzo. I took a sneaky, sneaky peek of what my mum had on her lips and she had Jazz as a liner with this colour. So I'm going to give that a go now. And this is one of Lisa's lip liners again. And this is in the colour Jazz. Just 
definitely is a lovely combo. I think jazz just gives it that definition that my lips sometimes need with a red. So I'm really pleased with this color. So this is with jazz as a lip liner and then the Palazzo. Now the final color that I'm gonna to talk to you today is the final one that I picked up, which was Night Thoughts. I didn't pick up Meet Me in Berlin, and the reason I didn't, which I mentioned earlier in my video, was because when I put Meet Me in Berlin on, it made my face look quite sallow, very sort of one-dimensional. It didn't lift me at all, but the one that did work, and why I picked this one over Meet Me in Berlin, and surprised me the most, was Night Thoughts. And I'll tell you why. We saw a girl in the queue, and she had it on. It was so sort of retro looking. And I don't know how Lisa came up with this color. It's definitely one not to sleep on, because I think, although everyone went for Le Mapri, I actually think this one is the gem in this Lucent lipstick selection of colors. Please don't be scared, because this isn't how it looks when you put it on your lips it's really interesting surprising but this is night thoughts A deep creme de cassis satinine shade with a heart of darkness, a sensual black cherry hue that suits all skin tones. One swipe will give you the mauvey veneer of a just bitten lip. Whilst built up, it gives a gorgeous depth, as profound and deep as the conversations with friends that carry through the night. Now, what a description is that? I hope that that kind of sets up how this is gonna look. It's really, really pretty. It's so, so lovely. So this is the color Nike Thoughts. So I did a little playing around and I think I might have found Lisa's perfect lip liner for this. This one is Decade and it's kind of in the same sort of family. So I'm gonna see if this makes a little bit of a difference. So I'm gonna put Decade on. I think it does just help to give it some structure because it's a more sort of stronger shade, but I think Decade works with this particular lipstick in Night Thoughts. So this is the Decade Liner with Night Thoughts. And now I'm gonna to talk to you about the last three shades that I picked up, which are part of her new collection. And these are the Insanely Saturated Lip Colors. And I picked up all three of them, which were Sunday Matinee, Strawberry Shock, and New Wave. New Wave was the one that caught my eye because I felt like it was just kind of like my vibe. <laughs> I tried Strawberry Shock when I was in the queue, really loved it. And when I tried on Sunday Matinee, I loved it so much that I bought it and even my mum purchased it. It was so lovely as well. So we're gonna start off with a lighter color and then we're gonna move on to Strawberry Shock and then we're gonna move on to New Wave. So let's start off with Sunday Matinee. I'm gonna try and match it as well with a lip pencil for you like I have done with all the other colors. So this is Sunday Matinee. This is her other formula, which is what I mentioned. I think at the moment she had like two colors. One was Skyscraper Rose, one was Rainbow Spill. I have those colors already from her previous launch, so I wanted to pick these up. It's the same packaging, even though the formula is slightly different, and we will take a look at Sunday Matinee. This is how Sunday Matinee looks. A soft, pouty, medium pink with a hint of warmth. Never washed out or too try hard. It's as insouciant and laid back as a Sunday spent watching your favorite classic film. So this is described as so pigment and so creamy, a truly dreamy texture that glides on seamlessly and gives 100% full coverage with a demi matte finish and weightless feel. And then it can also be dabbed on as a light stain for a more subtle effect. I would say this is probably one of my favorite formulas from Lisa because it 
just has a very unique effect and although you can get lipsticks that are like this, this formula seems very unique and very special. It feels so creamy on, it's a really lovely texture. So this is Sunday Matinee and it's like a really everyday colour. What I'm going to do is also put on a lino in a minute, but just wanted to show you this first. So this is Sunday Matinee. In store, I was recommended one of Lisa's liners and this was in the colour Petal. It's like they're meant to be, these two colours are so, so sort of well matched. And this is the lip liner Petal with Sunday Matinee. So the next shade we're going to look at is Strawberry Shock. And this was the colour that they put on me in the queue when I was queuing up for Lisa's pop-up and I was really intrigued because out of all the colours this one sort of really jumped at me and this is Strawberry Shock. Lisa says that Strawberry Shock is a sun filtered red that hides a dash of shocking punk pink extremity at its heart a bright shouty strawberry dakiri hue that instantly energizes a true goldilocks of bright reds it's neither too cool or too warm so this is strawberry shock So I thought I would try Lisa's Morning Lip Pencil because it reminds me a little bit of her Velvet Morning Lipstick. I thought let's try this lip pencil. Definitely feels like the perfect match. So this is Morning Lip Pencil with Strawberry Shock. So we are on to our final colour from the insanely saturated lip colour family and this one is the one that I had my eye on as soon as I saw Lisa launch her collection. This is New Wave. So Lisa describes New Wave as an unashamedly bold magenta, modern yet classic, subversive yet soft with its cool blue undertones, this statement Cyclamen shade is shot through with edgy glamour and electronica chic. So this is the one that I was like, oh, this is really interesting. So I am looking forward to giving this one a try. So this is New Wave and you can see why I was immediately drawn to this. I think this colour is such a beautiful sort of shade of purple, yet it's so wearable and I can imagine myself wearing this in the evening. The lady in front of me actually when I was in the queue, her skin tone was a couple shades darker than I am and it looked beautiful on her and immediately when she put it on I was like that is stunning and I'm so glad I picked it up because I do love this sort of pigmentation, this colour it just screams sort of this is the kind of thing I love it's beautiful what liner of Lisa's will match this and having a play around and I felt that the color beauty would be a really good sort of liner for it so let's do that now again these two marry up so beautifully the two colors and although this is slightly lighter than the colour New Wave. The family is still the same so it's really really pretty together so this is with the liner Beauty. So when I was at Lisa's pop-up store there was basically new liquid lyrics 
eyeshadows that she launched that she will be launching in the next couple of weeks in her store in London. I'm not sure when it will be online. There were some new colours, so I will put those up for you and the arm swatches as well in this video so you can see what they're going to look like and how they look on my skin tone. I hope that it helps. I've got my eye on maybe two or three of them, probably end up getting more than that, but those are the ones that have caught my eye. Lisa was there, like I said, at the event, so if you're lucky enough and Lisa's there, then definitely ask her any questions. She's so lovely and I'm sure she'll, she'll be open to answering them and I really hope you enjoy your time at the pop-up. So these are the arm swatches of all the colours. Although I have done it in store, I wanted to do it when I was at home as well. But it also has the arm swatches of the liners that I thought would match really well. So we start off with Le Mepri, and I use for that Muse because I thought Muse would be a really good match. We then move on to the next colour which is Je Ne Sais Quoi which is this colour here and for je ne sais quoi I decided to use dragon because I felt like it would make a really good match. We then moved on to rosy shell and for rosy shell I decided to use blush so that is the colour blush and then for wonder wheel which is this one here I decided to use the lip pencil. I decided to use the lip pencil Carnival. And then for the Palazzo color here, I decided to use Jazz, which is there. And then for Night Thoughts, I used Decade. So you can see these are all the sort of arm swatches of the Lucent lip colors from Lisa. These are the luxuriously Lucent lip colors from Lisa. And these are the six colors that I picked up. So these are the three new insanely saturated lip colours from Lisa and this first one is Sunday Matinee and I paired that up with the Lip Pencil in Petal. Then there's also the Strawberry Shock which I've paired up with the Lip Pencil in Morning and then there's the New Wave and I've paired that up with the Lip Pencil in and there is New Wave and I've paired that up with the Lip Pencil in Beauty. Oh, lovely, lovely shades. Okay, so that is everything. And I just wanted to sort of round everything up for you. I had the most amazing day at Lisa's pop-up. Lisa's pop-up is going to be there until September the 4th, I believe. So you've got plenty of time. So I wanted to get this video out as soon as possible so that you get an opportunity to go and visit the store, to go and try the colours, try these combinations that I've come up with. You may come up with combinations of your own. I just felt these ones matched what I had from Lisa. I really hope that's kind of given you some kind of guidance. I love these shades. I think they're stunning. I may at some point pick up Meet Me in Berlin, but it's so hard because I don't know what I could do to make it work. And it's just the way it is. Not all the colors are gonna work. And I wanted to be true to who I was in terms of the colors that I picked today to show you. So I really hope this has given you the opportunity to see the colors in action, to see the colors on someone of a similar skin tone to yourself. So if you're medium skin tone, or if you're slightly darker than I am, I hope this has kind of helped you to decide which colors are gonna look good on you. I know a lot of people have already pre-ordered and placed orders, but I hope that we can all kind of share our love of Lisa, our experiences of Lisa's products together and kind of create a little bit of a community. Because I've honestly felt the love on Instagram when I put up stuff about the pop-up I received so much love from people and I really appreciated that. So I wanted to get this video up for you as soon as possible. So please let me know your comments in the comment section below. Will you be visiting Lisa's pop-up store? Let me know your thoughts and if you are gonna be, what you're gonna pick up. I'd love to hear what your, what your experience is like once you do visit. Hope you enjoy Lisa's launch. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.